Hi, let's talk about the principles of gathering, some of the do's and don'ts. So, when I'm gathering, pretend that this is the crucible of glass. That's basically what's in there, is a big bowl of molten glass. Um, in my example here, this is the door area. It would open this way, and I'm always gonna be gathering on the right side against the silt. So you have to imagine there's a silt here. So the first thing is, when I'm going to gather, I'm always turning clockwise to myself. That's because I want this to roll up against that sill and steady my gather. So that's the first thing is as soon as I go in, I'm gonna start turning what is to me clockwise. The other thing is, in order to be able to see what I'm doing and keeping myself safe, I don't wanna gather at the very front. The only way to gather at the very front and be able to see it is to stand very close. If I don't want to burn myself, I can gather in the middle and I can stand very far back and still see it. So the first thing I'm going to do after I rest the pony rod on the edge of the silt is slide it into the middle of the crucible. That way I can gather from way back here and still see the tip of my pony rod or a blowpipe while it's inside the furnace. So set it on the seat, slide it to the middle. Third thing I'm gonna do is immediately start turning. This is critical. You won't be able to see the surface of the glass inside the furnace the first few times you gather. It's bright, it's like a light bulb. The whole thing inside there is glowing and there's no reflection of anything because everything inside is, is emitting light. So nothing is reflecting. After a while, you'll learn to be able to feel or sense the surface of the glass, but that's not what happens at first. So this is what most people do when they first gather. They just dip it in without knowing, still trying to find it, and now they've gathered all the way up on their pony rod or blowpipe. None of that glass that's on there is usable. You just gotta throw that away and start over, all right? Instead, what you can do is rest it on the floor, slide it forward, start turning before you touch. As soon as I touch the surface, guess what happens? The glass starts to wrap around my pony rod or blowpipe, and I get to see it do that. That tells me to stop. So I'm not gathering like this. I'm gathering like this. I'm tipping it down as I turn, so as soon as it touches, I can stop. That's where I get my glass, get all my glass, slide it back. So one more time, rest it, start turning against that silk, slide it to the middle, turning, turning, turning. As soon as I touch the surface, I stop, collect my glass, lift back up, slide it back to me, keeping it turning, and then I get ready to come out. If I just gather like this, I will just dunk it because the surface of that glass is 2,080 degrees Fahrenheit. It's very, very, very soft. You won't be able to feel it at first. After a while, you develop a sensitivity, but at first you won't. Here's the other tiny little trick that you can use, and it's really hard to see this. You actually have to come all the way around and look from my angle, but I can see a reflection of my punchy rod on the surface of that. Can you see a reflection? Yeah. That reflection is happening right before I touch. So, turning, turning, turning. The two things that are gonna tell me I'm about to touch the surface, I see the reflection of the punting rod underneath it, and as soon as I touch, it starts wrapping around the surface, and that's when I stop. And that's how I know. Then I tip back, slide back toward me, pull out, and there we go. It's much easier to show you this in this cold, bucket of water than inside the furnace because again you can't really see anything in there but if you follow those those steps rest turn slide lift up dip slide back and then come out you're gonna have much more success making a good gather all right let's talk about gathering and safety at the furnace now this is one of those things that when you're first starting off you absolutely need an assistant for. So I've got my assistant, 
because it's coronavirus, they're gonna mostly stay six feet away from me until I need them. Uh, but the CDC guidelines say that close proximity is dangerous if it exceeds 15 minutes, if both parties have on a mask and safety glasses. So we're not gonna take 15 minutes to gather, obviously. So let's go over the procedure before I show you actual gathering. I am not gonna be the one opening the door and closing the door. That's gonna be my partner's job. And my partner's job is to open it and close it just enough for me to get in and get out, but also not so much that it's blasting me with heat. So let's show you what too much would look like. So that's the whole door, and then my hand is being blasted with all that heat. Um, so that's not what we want to do because if you're just an intro student, what's going to happen is you're not going to want to gather. You're going to want to try to gather way back here like this. So let's see what opening it properly looks like. So just enough that I can get in there and then they're closing it so that I can just see into the furnace. And that's enough. And then when I get ready to come out, they're gonna open it just enough for me to come out. And that keeps me safe. So it's a safety issue. My partner uh, is now standing six feet away. So let's talk about a couple other things that are important when it comes to gathering. I am standing pretty far back from the furnace. If you can't see where I'm standing right now. It's kind of hard to see. Let me just pick this up. So I don't know if you can see this, but I'm standing pretty far away from this furnace. That is gonna keep me out of the heat. If I'm standing right next to the furnace like this, then I've got much more radiant heat hitting me. And there's really no reason for that. So you'll see that when I'm gathering, I'm gonna stay about this far back, and I'm just gonna sort of reach in here like this and gather and then come out. That'll keep me away from the heat. So I'll go ahead and make a gather. We'll show you what that looks like. First thing that's really important, there should be some color to your punty rod. If there's not enough heat, it won't stick. And even if it does stick, it'll suck all the heat out of your gather, which wastes your time. So there should be some color in here. When I'm in the furnace, I think to myself that I'm gonna make three full rotations. I'm gonna slide it back to myself before I come out. The indication that I'm ready to come out is sliding my left hand forward. At that point, my partner opens the door. They do not open the door before that. I should always be moving away from the heat. I should never be moving towards a wide open door. We'll make one more gather and we'll show you that again. All right, one more gather. So they're gonna open the door a little bit. Oh. They haven't opened the door yet. I'm sliding back towards me. Whenever I'm ready, I'm gonna slide my left hand up and they're gonna open. That is gathering. We'll see you soon.